my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Miss a welcome. That's potato, potatoes. Not you, so I see potatoes. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Well that's potato, we got wee sausage over there as well today. Though, as you can see by the title, I am going to be swatching my weirder colour favourite liquid lipsticks and lipsticks. There is one lipstick, the rest are liquid lipsticks. I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really have that many to show you today because my favourite brand, my favourite formula of weird colours and the, the brand that in the past did the best weirdest colours is Jeffree Star. I don't use him anymore on my channel. I've kept like all the Jeffree Star I've got because I use it in my own time but I don't use it on my channel and I don't like tag him on Instagram because I dislike him and his brand. So we don't have that many to show you but that means this video won't be too long which is good because it is already quarter to eight tonight and I am tired. Hold on, we are missing something. Why? It's my birthday tomorrow, or yesterday, as you're watching this, so I'm having a couple of glasses of wine with the cats, you know, chin chin. Right, let's get on with it. The first one I have to talk about is actually the one I'm wearing, which is Melt, in the shade Golden. I got this on Beauty Bay yonks ago, and it kicked off my love for these weird, what we in the sexy sausages call, like, mustard baby poo colours. Already, uh, obviously, I've already got it on, so I'm not gonna, like take it off and reapply it but I'll just show you it is this one. <laughs> this is an absolutely gorgeous and weird mustardy warm yellow brown. I love it. I wear it all the time whether I'm like doing like weird lipstick or not. Like I feel like this is more of a nude to be honest but it is quite a weird colour and it is a colour that people kind of go when you're in Asda. You know they kind of look at you funny but I think they're just appreciating it. I really like the formula, it's very thin, you want to like shake these up before you use them but I do feel like it sits in my lines pretty heavily but I mean what can you do when you've got liney lips? It's just what happens but yeah I really like this melt formula, I want to get a bunch more of this formula. Melt are actually sending me a PR package and I can't wait until it comes and I will unbox it on my channel. I don't think there's any lipsticks in it though but yeah I'm excited for that but yeah Melt Golden Pricey, worth every penny in my opinion. I love how it kind of matches in to like the yellow blush I'm wearing, Silence is Golden. Love it so much. 10 out of 10. I guess I should do a completely different shade next, just so there's like some difference between the two. How cute is my eyeshadow today by the way? <laughs> next up is Maybelline, so a nice cheap drugstore version. This is Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 100 Philosopher. It's just really weird and I love the colour. I like it for ombreing like a darker purple lipstick but as well as that the formula of Maybelline is just like excellent. This is like lavender. How cool is that from the drugstore to have like such a weird colour and I know it's not actually that weird like I've seen people wear this just like normally. Why is it gone like that? But like for me this is a weird colour. I get like all my Maybelline on Amazon. It's just so much cheaper. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, rotten application, but I just don't even care because that's so cool. Okay, A, not good on the teeth, makes them look super yellow. I don't have the whitest teeth anyway. Red lipstick makes them look white. <laughs> this does not, but how cool is that colour? Like imagine I had like, I kind of have these tones somewhat on my eyes, so I feel like it does kind of match and goes well, but it does not match my like blusher stuff but this formula is the absolute tits I love it I give it 10 out of 10 on me like I feel like it lasts all day I could shower and this would not come off once it's dry down I love the applicator I love the price point of these because like I said you can always get them on Amazon for like five pounds or less whereas in store they're what 9.99 I honestly die over this color 100 philosopher I think it is so cute do I have the balls to wear out on its own? Honestly, probably not. Maybe in the height of summer, if I had like some kind of like lavender purple top on or something, you know what I mean? Like I could maybe make it work, but overall like this is a bit bold for me, but like I said, ombreing it with like a darker one underneath is so cute. And I just think like, again, for drugstore, giving us these cool colors, 
it makes me happy. Whereas before, like, I know there's heaps of indie brands like now, especially in America, doing really cool, um, like weird lipstick colours, but they're just really hard to get and honestly I'm poor so <laughs> I can't afford to buy them so I'm happy that we've got some kind of like weird ones in the UK. These are really hard to remove, like you have to use in my experience like oil makeup remover. From a drugstore we'll move to a high-end one. Okay this is Fenty Pumpkin Rose, I've had this for yonks, one of my friends Izzy bought this for me ages ago and when she knew that I was like in love with weird kind of pumpkin-y shades. This I would say again is actually like not that much of a super 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 weird colour however it doesn't fit in the nudes so it kind of has to go in here. Mm, this formula is not 10 out of 10 but the colour is 20 out of 10. I don't understand how numbers work. Can you stop texting me <laughs> right now? Okay that is literally a diabolical application. Oh, that was a really cute sleepy noise from Sausage. I don't care. Look at that colour. Look at it. It is like matte, bright pumpkin, Halloween, orange. Joy. This colour makes my soul happy. This is like an orange dream, but it's also kind of like a muted orange, like a wearable orange. It's like life is it not pumpkin rolls by Fenty like what is that and I've wore, I'll try and put a picture on screen of like when I wore this like with the makeup look that I'd done quite a lot of orange in and I just thought it came out so cute if I do say so myself but yeah I think this colour is it's life and do you, do you know what the formula is not bad I said it's not 10 out of 10 it's probably like 7.5 out of 10 to be honest it's not awful but I guess it's more like I just I'm not drawn towards lipsticks I prefer liquid lipsticks because they stay on longer. Right we've got another drugstore and it is Maybelline again because I love this formula, I love this line. This one is in the shade 90 Huntress. Is that not a DC, yeah is that not Cara Delevingne in a uh, Suicide Squad? Everyone knows Marvel's better than DC. This is just a weird ass colour but there's something about it that is lovely. This is like just stone cold grey pretty much. Okay, is that application good? Absolutely not, but how cool is that colour? That is like grey, pure like straight up grey and then they've just like passed it by a field of grapes to give it a slight purple tone. It is absolutely beautiful, it is so weird. I have quite honestly never worn this out the house. I put it on I feel like I'm quite cool and then I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't have the balls to wear that outside, but isn't it nice? I feel like a lot of people out there would wear this, no problem, like Jane, I feel like Jane would pull this off, no problem whatsoever, she would look so cool, but me, I'm like, mm, I don't know, it's not great on my teeth, but again, I love the formula, long lasting, would survive the apocalypse, it's everything. Also again, price point's really good. Get them on Amazon, get all your Maybelline on Amazon. Trust me on that, if you haven't started, start. Right, we only have one more. And oh my goodness, I just took off so much of my makeup. <laughs> I actually had a different one for this last one, it was a Morphe lipstick, um, because I wanted to do like another drugstore one and not a high-end one, and also I don't know if this is still available. However, I had to include a black because I think everyone needs a black liquid lipstick in their collection. So I'm going to swatch my ABH but really I wanted to just put my Morphe black lipstick on um, because I reach for that probably more than I reach for this but this is ABH Midnight. Saying that I have used this a fair few times to be honest because for a while it was my only black. Yeah my application is grotesque and the overlining is insane but I don't care because look how cool is black like Jane, Heather are both gonna totally love this on me. I do like black lipstick on me I think it's really cool. I only ever really wear it out though if I'm doing like a wing, a wee simple lash and then the black lipstick as the like focal point. I didn't actually mean to do such crazy makeup for swatching these today but it's just what happened when I was sitting playing with makeup. So yeah that's ABH Midnight. I don't mind the formula. I would give it probably like 6 out of 10 quite drying, sinks in the lines, they're not the best liquid lipsticks out there to be quite honest but it's alright, 
again, I wanted to swatch, I think it was the Morphe Ivani Gregg uh, black, I think that's who it was with, and I just really like it, it matches that lip pencil that I used, but like, bl there's something quite powerful about a black lipstick, like there's something about when I wear it, I feel just like a badass, and I'm not a badass, <laughs> I follow the rules, you know? The other day I walked out of the indoor in Tesco and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. You know, I follow the rules, but a black makes me look like I, like I don't. So yeah, that's the black on. What do you think? I think, I mean, it goes with the eyes, technically. It's not too much. But yeah, that is my weird colors. Not very many swatched for you, admittedly. What was that, just five? Just those five? Yeah, uh, because again, a lot of mine are Jeffree Star, like I still have a lot of them in my lipstick case down here and I'm not getting rid of them because that's a waste, money was already spent, but I'm not going to sit and like promote them on my channel anymore because I can't and won't. So yeah, that is my weird colours. If you were only going to get two, make it these two, like funny, the mustardy orange ones, but they're just so beautiful, so wearable and so excellent i can't speak highly enough of them but yeah that's my weird colors so last time we did nudes we've already done reds i guess it only leaves like pinks and purples left and i will do that category in the next few coming weeks because i love pink lipstick uh, more than life itself so we will do that but yeah that's the weird colors let me know what you think and um tell me of all these indie brands with weird colors that i need to try and i'll just add them to my list and get them over time. Is there any here that you don't like? Is there any that I put on and you were like, uh, uh, you look, uh. yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, like I just said, and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week. On a Wednesday, I go live for my sexy sausages, aka my patrons. Uh, the link is in the description down below. And I'm gonna piss off. It is now what time? Quarter past eight and uh, take this makeup off, walk to Tesco, get myself a wee burger or something and go to bed. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! See you.